right, I'm going to show you what I'm doing with the hoses and how I'm plumbing this aquaponic system. Let me just give you a quick overview. I've got a fish tank down here, a little sump tank down here. I'm using those little lids so when I drill I don't get a bunch of gunk in the sump tanks. You can see some I've done already. These are where the net pots are going to go in my tubs. You saw me drilling those the other day. As you can see here, I have some uh, PVC fittings and my bulkhead. My bulkhead comes out here. There's the hose and the pipe fitting that we just did. I heated up the hose so it would fit on really nice and I screwed it in tight. Don't forget to thread these things with, uh, with that little um, seal tape on, otherwise they leak. But anyway, so what I've got here is what I'm going to do. This one. And what I do is I've got my bulkhead. This is the bulkhead right here. And I take it apart. This end here, I'm going to thread it through. Put it through that hole here. I'm going to take this little pipe fitting. That's going to go into the bulkhead on this end. The seal goes on the outside. This unscrews. So it'll, I'll plumb it through inside. And then, inside this bulkhead on the inside part, as you can see right here, I'm going to put this part into it. Now this has to be threaded as well with that seal tape um, over the threads going into the threaded bulkhead on this side. So that screws on. I've got my uh, seal tape I'm going to put on. And I'll screw that all in. And on this side will be the hose and the hose fitting will go in there and the hose comes out. That's what I've done over here, as you can see. Hose comes out. There's the threaded part on the inside that, um, that I put the seal tape around. And then on the other side of the tub, you can see how the bulkhead comes right through. And I screw this part. This is my siphoning valve. And it goes just a quarter inch shy of the bottom of the tub so that it sucks the water up, comes up here. Once the water level reaches this height, it starts to siphon. It come, drops down here comes through here, the little piping bulkhead through the, the tub and then I drop it down through the hose right into the fish tank. And what you gotta be really careful about is make sure you don't cut these hose too short. I discovered that if my hose is cut too short and it doesn't touch the bottom of the tank or not enough hose so that I can get a brick on there and hold it down, the hose likes to kind of creep up like this and then it doesn't siphon very well. So you've got to be able to get that hose to go all the way down to the bottom of the tank so that there's enough draw pressure from the grow bed to be able to siphon all the way out into the fish tank. So this is um, this time constructing my aquaponic system with the grow beds, little net pots, and the lid, the, uh, the nice little 10 gallon tubs, Sterilite tubs. And of course, a little siphoning valve that goes out the side because I didn't want to plumb something in the bottom that I had have to then try to work through this grading shelving system. I didn't want to cut that shelving system. So I came up with this side siphoning valve uh, setup. Basically all it is, is you know, you've got your bulkhead, you've got a right angle threaded on the outside right here and on the inside. I've got another right angle that comes out and I'm using PVC here and then I've got a Rainbird like same right angle. You can use PVC all the way for both of these right angles but they have to be threaded on both sides. Threaded on the outside one angle and inside threaded on the other part of it. So I have basically three right angles create this siphon system. Then I put a little two inch riser again in the Rainbird section of Home Depot. And then I have a coupling, a basically threaded on the inside so that I can attach it to the threaded part of this riser and use this threaded part to adjust the height. So once I plumb it in, I'm able to adjust the height exactly where I want it. I basically set it so I have this quarter inch little lip here in the tub and I basically set it right to the edge of that lip and it siphons out pretty well provided that the hose goes all the way down into the bottom of the fish tank. If it, if it doesn't touch that bottom, it doesn't siphon as well. So it's very important. You've got a long enough hose that goes all the way down and you get it braced down, probably with a little brick will help hold it down. So anyway, 
That's how I'm constructing the aquaponic system. I've got several tubs on the shelving unit and they're going to go into the fish tank and I'm going to siphon between the, uh, the sump tank and the fish tank so that I don't draw down the fish tank when I'm um, pu pumping the water up. And basically the next step of this um, aquaponic system is going to be to set up the, uh, the plumbing that goes up to the top and runs along the top shelving unit and then it's going to basically run into each of these beds. But that'll be the next video. You take care.